These are my notes. These are my notes. <laughs> I'm very, I like to take notes technologically on a phone and you're like, I will print them out on paper. So oh, if anybody hears paper right. rustling in the background, that's Chris and his notes because he's very old school. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I like to have it there because something could happen to my phone. You know, somebody could come in and steal my phone. But yeah, that happens a lot. The notorious phone <laughs> thief when you're in the middle of recording. Give me that phone. And well, then he runs away with no other demands. Well, Actually, something could happen and my phone would vibrate and then I would be here next to the microphone and, you know, phone vibrate. See, so. I turned mine on airplane mode, which I didn't before you said that, but I will now. I already did. See, I'm a good boy. Perfect. Well, uh, well. anyway, let's just jump right into this. <laughs> we're doing another trailer breakdown, guys. We had a lot of fun the first time we did it. Uh, but n- now we're, we have it's a different crowd. Chris, you've never been live in anything that we've done, like in uh, studio with us. You've always been from your house. Yes, I've always been from my uh, home of Is operations. This, can you attest to how professional-ish this looks? It is very professional-ish and very uh, comic booky set up here in Scott's room. Uh, all right, so Flash trailer, TV show. Uh, we're going to jump right into it. Uh, and again, I'm Scott. This is Chris. I am Chris. I hope. So recognize those voices. I know we sound completely identical, but we're going <laughs> to <laughs> we're gonna jump. Is there anything that you have to say like right at the start? Um, after watching this trailer, I can say that I'm excited for this show whereas originally I thought a a flash TV show would not work at all just Mm -hmm. because of the nature of the character but um, I'm I'm excited for it all right here we go Barry got into a fight I guess I wasn't fast enough no it's better to have a good heart than fast legs I did want to go back (laughs) really quickly (laughs) uh, doing some frame by frame stuff Um, this guy right here do you know who that is in the, uh, in the photo, Barry's dad. I mean, the actor. Do you know who the uh, actor? The actor? Is? No, you can't really see it very clearly in that, um, in that photo. Gosh, I did not do nearly enough research for this episode as I did for the Guardians one. I believe he's the guy who played Flash like way back in the day, the live action Flash. Really? That's him. I thought he'd be a lot older than what he looks like in that photo. No way, bro. He, Flash never ages. <laughs> that is him. Once you don the costume, you don't age anymore. When I was eleven, my mom was murdered. I saw what looked like a ball of lightning inside the lightning this perfect moment right there yeah. so explain to everyone who this is um that is well it, he's normally referred to as the reverse flash mm-hmm. very original name but actually that is professor zoom one of many reverse flashes and um as opposed to the origin story that everybody knows you know he's barry allen is struck by lightning whatever um, this is actually borrowed from the the Flash Rebirth from 2009, which is a fairly recent comic. That's awesome. I love that you're just you you have your notes up there, <laughs> sounding all professional. Uh, well, I, I try, but way I mean, more uh, prepared than I am. The interesting thing about this, though, is they're they're kind of mishmashing some of the the stories together. But this this is also much more exciting than it seems at first because this ties into Flashpoint, the the oh, Flashpoint yeah. arc. Yeah, yeah. Which You're absolutely a, right. I mean, a lot of things for the movies. Which, by the possibly. way, if you haven't seen or read Flashpoint, you should do that because I think it's really awesome. It is awesome. Um, all right. We move along. He killed my mom. Mom! Dad! And I don't get why that happened. He transported him <laughs> to another dimension. No, it's the same. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, according to um, most of the references and stuff that you can look up online uh barry allen was frequently late to everything he's very slow very deliberate snail kind of person mm-hmm. which is which is cool because he becomes the complete opposite because and they, he becomes very fast yeah and they, they, they really sort of captured that without saying it outright in that mm-hmm. moment when he bumped into him and he's like oh you need to come to work and stuff i want i, I should have pointed this out at the beginning but i am not very caught up on flash anything at all he's almost like a blind a blind uh, a blind spot in in my brain so <laughs> i i hope that this show will help me get into that universe a little bit more and explore the character that is barry allen in the flash um so everyone you work with thinks you're a weirdo this is iris west and i didn't know too much about her but you have some research on her as well um well 
like you, I don't know a whole lot about the Flash, but we I did. I did do some research. The most qualified people to do this <laughs> trailer <laughs> breakdown. But um, from from what I understand, uh, the West family in the books, they're not from our time period. I thought, and uh, previous to watching this trailer, I didn't know it. But once I saw her in the trailer, this this character here, I um, I tried to find out who she was. And it, it didn't make sense to me because I thought her character was supposed to be from the future brought back in time. I believe she's white in the comic books. Of course. Yeah. I mean, that just happens. I don't have any problem with it. Yeah. Well, I mean, as long as they don't like get out was, of character. I just wanted to talk so that I could sound smart. So that, <laughs> that's what I thought of. Well, as long as they don't get out of character, you know, where certain comic mm-hmm. book characters in the movies, they, they got to change it for no reason. Yeah. You know, which is. I understand they want to switch things up because not everybody is white. Exactly. You know. I mean, if you listen to any of our podcasts, you know that I'm the very first person that always brings up race in every single episode yeah, well, because it, I think it's, it's relevant. It, yeah. it, it is relevant because if they change the origin story of the character, it changes the character. We move along. I've spent my whole life searching for the impossible, never imagining that I would become the impossible. That right there. I want to know what that is. So you don't watch Arrow at all, right? Um, no, I don't. Yeah, this, um, I can't remember what they call it. It's some sort of Star Labs reactor experiment. Uh, Barry Allen made, this guy made an appearance on Arrow for oh, two really? episodes. And at the end of the second episode, spoilers for anyone listening, <laughs> uh, is this scene where he's working here and he gets struck by lightning and pushed back into the chemicals and that's the last that we hear a flash until this trailer i'm gonna have to watch arrow now because pre- previously i wasn't watching arrow because i don't i don't agree at all with their interpretation of the characters it seems like they're more focused on the fact that he has muscles than the dc comics character right you know and i don't know maybe i'm bitter or whatever but it to me, I didn't because agree. Because you have more muscles and you don't have your own TV show? <laughs> yes. But th- this has me interested now, though, this whole scene, because I was wondering what that was, that that's not just a lightning bolt. Well, so. in the in the the comic books, I was told this by my friend Jonathan, who is the biggest Flash uh, nerd that I know. Uh, it, there, there's actually a storyline where, where he goes back in time. Uh, Flash goes back in time and actually causes this to happen to him. So if we go f- uh, forward a little bit, lots of stuff happening. Very nice effects, by the way. Very, it looks good. It looks like it's a good show, it, like the effects wise. Like that looks cool. This is about the last that we see of in in Arrow. So we have this happening. This doesn't look like regular lightning to me, right? No, because it, it, it's yellow. In one story arc that my friend Jonathan was telling me, Flash goes back in time, and this is him. Uh, a lightning from a, the trail that he's causing comes through and strikes himself from the past, causing him to turn into the flash, you know, classic time travel paradox, paradox kind of stuff. Thing. Yeah, exactly. So we have him being electrocuted. And then I got to tell you, um, I was always worried about a, a live action flash adaptation because this whole origin seems so bizarre to me. It's very coincidental. Like, Oh yeah, those things happened it's just like, like that. Struck by lightning. Awesome. That's one thing. Oh, you were also struck by lightning and thrown into chemicals. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> and that caused you to get super speed powers. Oh, of course. Why not? Right. So, you know, it's it's that kind of whole thing. I was really worried about a live action adaptation because I felt like it's so weird that audiences couldn't connect with it. But I don't know. I kind of feel like at least from what we see from the trailer, I, I kind of dig it. Yeah. Well, I mean... I- I, I always felt the same way about his origin because, I mean, if you think about it, it is very uh, comic book cheese kind of material. You know, he's struck by lightning and then chemicals. And if you notice, all the chemicals are green and yellow and stuff. And, of course, they have to be different colors. Yeah, there's know. like a there's like a red one over there and a blue <laughs> one. And, you know. It, you know, they're mostly just like there for saturation to look pretty when but, he crashes into them. It, but when you add in the rest of the DC universe, though, like with the whole uh, time travel aspect... It makes more sense, you know, other than it seeing seeming so random. Yeah, you yeah. know, which lightning I'm doesn't too strike much, like that. I'm having too much fun with this. <laughs> but it's a very well done scene, though. Yeah, it looks, it looks a lot of real. the effects in this look actually really good. There is one scene that I will say that I'll point out that I'm not a huge fan of uh, <laughs> effects wise. But um, 
So we have him. That's basically where we leave him in arrow. So this might be where we pick up or something. Okay. Um, do you know who this guy is? Um, my first thought was he was another member of the, the West family. This is actually a character called uh, Cisco Raymond, I think, or Ramon. I don't know how to pronounce that kind of stuff. But he is the character Vibe, who kind of has these sonic vibration powers, I guess. So that'll be fun to see how that plays in. All right, this girl. Do you know who that is? No. First of all, it's Danielle Panabaker, who I love. Huge fan of her. Oh, that, that's her real life name. That's her real life name. I know her face, not her name. Yeah, she's always great, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> don't she's read, always don't, great. Don't read too much into that. <laughs> uh, anyway, her character is Caitlin Snow. Caitlin Snow. Yes, who turns it, uh, into Killer Frost. You know, that's really random. <laughs> killer Fro i mean I, I like that they're stuffing it though with people from the comics especially with the or origin stories and everything and the combination of different mm. interpretations because that means they're going somewhere with it hopefully you know they're planting the seeds now and it won't be like a a villain of the week kind of thing later i'm just i'm just making her wink at me is that <laughs> weird probably no all right. Anyway. Except for her face expression there. She looks like the Planet of the Apes kind of thing <laughs> ah, there. That's you know? true. I need you to urinate in this. What, what is happening? What is going on? You were struck by lightning, dude. I love this line right here. Lightning gave me abs. You're <laughs> It's so great. For how long? Yeah, they play this up in Arrow, too. Okay. Welcome back, Mr. Allen. That guy right there. Um, They've released his name for the show. But it's nobody special. I didn't even write it down. It's nobody who's been, uh, at least in in my knowledge, it's nobody who's been in the comics. But there is a theory that I heard that I love. That this guy is the chief from Doom Patrol. Oh, really? Because, which is great, because I actually am doing, slash already did, depending on when this video comes out, an episode about the Doom Patrol on Comic Misconceptions. So I was already in that mindset of, Doom Patrol is so cool, I can't believe I never like really invested a lot of time into reading about them. And all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, by the way, this guy could also be a character from Doom Patrol. Well, what intrigues me the most about it, though, is why is he crippled? You know, that th that was the first thought in my mind is... Mm -hmm. This character could have easily just been somebody else, you know, up and standing. But why is he crippled? And to me, that gets my brain started like on. It's got to be a character from something. Or yeah. Like, like Professor Xavier, backstory. you know. <laughs> like, well, you know, different universes. But and at first I was like, this guy's so cool. He's nice and, and sweet and genuine. But then as I'm watching this trailer, knowing that this could be Chief from Doom Patrol, I'm like, oh, this sneaky, this sneaky son of a insidious. gun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, I almost get kind of like a a vibe from him that it, that's not good. So he has that look about him. Yeah, he does. I watched you die, Barry. You kept dying. Your heart kept stopping. It's still beating. It feels really fast. So you thought. So this is kind of down. spider sense. Is yeah, it, it is very spider so sense ish. Look like everyone else was standing still. There is so much that we don't understand. Vibrating quickly. I like. I think the effects of him running look really nice. Especially because you can see him when he runs. It's not just a line, you know. Right. How is that even possible? We don't know. Okay, we have to go back to that very quickly. Did you catch this when you watched it? Ferris Air. No, I didn't think anything about it. Um, Ferris Air is uh the, is related to Green Lantern. Hal Jordan uh, works as the test pilot for Ferris Air. His girlfriend, Carol Ferris, is the star Sapphire. Once again, trying to put all of these characters and put them in one uh, cohesive universe, I guess. And this is a little thing they're doing but to try and link Green Lantern. That's a really smart move on uh, DC's part. Or is, is, this, is this a Warner Brothers thing? Are, are yeah, they, are they every, in on this? Every, I'm pretty sure every single live action... Um, DC thing is always Warner Brothers. It's not like Marvel where the rights where it's are separated. split up into different well, things. Yeah. That's a really smart move on their part because we all know the Green Lantern movie was eh, but they're planting the seeds now. So like I said before, it won't seem so random later. It's like, oh yeah, I remember that. 
Yeah. You know? Well, there's also that that fan theory that I think I told you about earlier, which was that John Diggle from Arrow is actually John Stewart, <laughs> Green yeah. Lantern, because he's ex-military. His name is John. He's a black guy. Once again, bringing up race. I can't help it, guys. Well, his there. character is black it. already, though. So, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not like they <laughs> they decided halfway through. Can you be black this season? That'd be great. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. All right. Star Labs. We didn't even touch on Star Labs either. Yeah, that's a Star Labs. This is what excited me the most because at, at first I was like, Star Labs. Did they make that up for the show? But actually, Star Labs has a um. They're, they're deep rooted into the um the storylines that all intertwine with the Justice League. Mm -hmm. And if I can uh, get my notes here, um, Star Labs, they created the parts that um, made Cyborg a possibility. Yeah, that's um, an interesting thing that we'll bring up when that part comes up. But yeah, I there's some speculation on that. Oh, really? There's rumors. Uh, I think it's funny that he's wearing spandex here. Um, I like again, I really like those effects. He's got those lightning bolts on the side of his head. 700 miles an hour, is that what it said? Metahumans. Yep, metahumans. All right. This guy, I know who he is. Tell me, tell me who he is. Well, who he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be, uh, um, my notes here, <laughs> yeah. um, Mark Martin uh, slash the weather wizard, but they but. changed it because they call him, in just a moment in this trailer, they're going to call him by a different first name. Yeah. Clyde Martin is his brother that was um, working on a way to control the weather, but died of a heart attack in the book, in the books, you know, mm -hmm. and Mark is the one that uh, picked it up, I guess. I like this actor. I don't know who, I don't think I've seen him in anything before, but from it's, just from what I've seen, yeah. I think he's a really, he, he looks, he looks cool and he acts really kind of intense and He's insane. very British looking. He, he is, isn't he? I think he can control the weather. That's crazy until we see it. Techno mumbo jumbo. Yeah, I mean this kind. This is very kind of similar to the to the new Fifty Two, right? It uh, crazy barrier things open, create a new thing, releasing all the meta uh, meta humans because a lot of Flash villains used to be tech based. Um, and Just like Spider Man villains are then, animal based, right? And then at the very start of the new Fifty Two, a lot, uh, you know, the Flash's uh, villains were very. They they were meta humans now, so they're going the whole uh, people with superpowers. Route. And this is this will be really great to introduce um, people into uh, like meta humans and that kind of stuff into the um, Arrow universe because they've just been doing a lot of you know punchy people, but not a lot of powerful superpowered people. Well, uh, at least they get around to it eventually. Yeah. Those are all theoretical. And how, and how theoretical, theoretical are, are you? It's <laughs> a good line. It's a good line. It Starling pretty, City. He comes to Starling City, and again, you don't watch Arrow, but... I have to. Now I have to. Oh, I don't know why I stopped it. I, I'm so used to going through frame by frame here. You're not a hero. You're just a young man who was struck by lightning. Martin! Again, these special effects are really good for a TV show. I was... Yeah, very not surprised. Bad at all. I'm not, I'm very not surprised. Bad. This just keeps getting cooler. All right, so here's the Star Labs. Um, people were saying after the explosion, it's now a hazardous, dangerous location that's closed off. And they were saying after this incident is what would have a uh, cyborg's father start taking over Star Labs, and then eventually would you know. Uh, create cyborg well i wonder if they're going to actually explain that because I, I remember because i did read the um the justice league new 52 series for a while and i was intrigued by the cyborg uh thing it really is sort of tied with the rest of the the universe as far as dc goes you know and I, i'm hoping that cyborg is well, well done yeah yeah because i want to see some justice league you know, <laughs> do you think that they're just they're going to do what Smallville did and just make a Justice League episode or something where everybody gets together? Like we'll have a crossover between Arrow and Flash and then we'll have Cyborg. And well, probably, actually, 
We'll get we'll get the little kid from Gotham. <laughs> well, I mean the um little side note, Lex Luthor attempted to buy Star Labs at least once. Oh yeah. Which was related to Superman, which is related to Superman versus Batman, which is related to a potential story arc that They're could lead tie in. Tie in the entire Yeah. I gotcha. Your metahumans have been busy. But I need you. Um, yeah, um, just a little thing, the new 52 news or not the new 52, the channel 52 news, uh, 52 news, new 50 Easter egg. Exactly. Uh, in, in the DC comic books, a lot of them, I don't know if they're still doing it, but for a while, ev- the last two pages of each comic book was little snippets of channel 52 news. That was really funny. And not only that, but you can see there local farmers rally behind a feel good cause that might just be incidental. But in the comics, the main hub of Star Labs is supposed to be at Metropolis. Another wow. another vine there connecting the okay. connecting the whole thing. I like that. I need your help to catch Marty. Another little thing could <laughs> totally be coincidental. The magazine that he's holding above his head is Science Showcase and Flash first premiered in uh, a, a title called Showcase. Um, oh, yeah. I, I saw that picture on um, on the Internet of the, the, the comic book that mm-hmm. was the showcase thing. So could be just a coincidental thing or could be a nod. I think it's neat. Anyone else out there like him? Well, it shows they're trying. Gotcha. Yeah, I like so the little like the little bits. OK, let's talk about this suit. First impressions, what did you what do you think of it? Um, same problem I had with um well spoilery ish in the amazing Spider Man two. Um they just sort of sh- sort of showed up with Electro in his suit, like, Oh, you have a suit now. Yeah, I didn't and, like that. And I wanna know who made the suit, what was its purpose for? Yeah, did it help him? Did it enhance him at all? I don't think so. Yeah, like like why did why was it here already? You know, the only that, problem, that's what I want to know. The problem I have with this suit is it's it looks too leathery and thick and doesn't look very aerodynamic to be flash. I know they say some techno mumble jum, mumbo jumbo yeah. about it being made of polymers of whatever. Well, nonsense. that's a that's kind of another issue that that I take with the whole live action interpretation of the Flash. His costume is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. You know, it's very very comic book looking. And they always in these live action adaptations, they always try to update it. They make everything leathery, very uh unlike the comic book counterpart. Right. But this is actually really good though. It looks like it, but not so far away from it. What's this thing you over know? his mouth? I want to say it's a, a a respirator. Like if he's if he's traveling really fast, it helps him breathe air. Poison keeps the something. bugs out of his teeth. <laughs> yeah, I sw- swallowed a June bug you because know? Uh, he wears it later. Reinforced tripolymer. It's heat and Reinforced tripolymer. Sure, buddy. What does that mean? The, the, these scenes I had a problem with graphics wise. I feel like these cars are very obviously fake. At least to me, I don't know. If right at that moment, right there, that black car on the left. Uh-huh. That's so. Uh, do I pronouncing this right? Mate, the color scheme. Oh, uh, I just you I know? pronounce it Matt, but Matt. that's just because you know I'm it's, American. I don't like accents and whatever. I mean, you're right though. It is very unrealistic looking because the lighting on that street also it's not really a hundred percent. I feel like the cars are a little you know. low low res. It's the same thing for the <laughs> next. Res. They do it again, I think. Low Green arrow. Yeah, of course. I think it chose you because you can inspire people watching over your city like a guardian angel, making a difference, saving people in a flash. In a flash. He said it. Roll credits. Yeah. Again, this is when this kind of scene right here uh, with this tornado, I thought was just amazing graphics for a TV show. I I expect them to be pretty lame, but it It, looks really good. It doesn't look fake at all. That's what I like this actor. He just, I don't know. Something about him. All right, this is because this is when I noticed it. Um, probably not going to be for a while. I don't want to go exactly frame by frame. That was a lot funnier when you slowed it down. <laughs> was it? Yeah. We can go back. Um, but see, he's wearing the respirator thing. Oh. And then, because I'm trying to figure that. out what it is, and then he takes it off. And then. Well, is it because he's he's fighting this guy that is um with wind and whatnot? So I guess maybe. You know, not to use a pun, but it's to help keep him from getting the wind knocked out of him. Because oh. there's weather and stuff flying through the air and smoke and stuff. Good call. Good call. Uh, good, like, music. Da, 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 da. All right. Red Streak. 
That's Flash's kind of nickname in the media, in the news media. Red, blue, blur. The yeah, the red, the red, blue, blur. <laughs> that, no, that that that's soup. That was that's Superman. Superman's, yeah. Well, in the um, in the books, didn't he have a, a ring? Didn't he have a ring that contained his um his costume? His suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are they going to do that? I mean, because they that never explain sounds that. Sounds a little crazy for a TV show. But they never explain that though in these live action adaptations. When do the characters take the time to do this? Like, like Batman. When does he take the time to put on his his eyeliner and stuff? Exactly. For the mask. You know. I mean, that's just all right, Batman. We have to go. And beat the Joker. All right, one second. Let me put on some mascara. I need to go to the makeup section at the Walgreens. You know? We're out. <laughs> Alfred, we need more black. Um, nice Batman voice. Thank you. You're not faster than a bullet. Right, who is this guy? Yeah, that's what I wanted to know. Who is this guy? Who is this Joker? <laughs> I was like, wh- what are you? What is your role? It- I don't know. I don't know if he's a main character or he's going to be a recurring character. I don't know what he is. Well, uh, I will point out that he's holding the gun in the flashlight like a, a police officer might kind of. Like that's a mouse. A, that's a very military-esque go. um, frame gun f- holding position. Frame by frame. But apparently he doesn't think Flash is faster than a bullet. Barry, run! I, I don't know why. I like that guy a lot. Running around the opposite direction. I thought that was really cool. Again, I, just, I don't know. I like the way it looks. It looks real to me. It does look very real. What happened here? Just your everyday kind of bad guy shootout. My name is Barry Allen. And yeah, these those cars as well look fake. To yeah, me. very CGI. Very like nineties. Did they those those, those taxis just disappear? They you pop see those? In. This is like funny. a bad video game. That's hilarious to me. Got here, gone here again. <laughs> that's fine. And then, yeah, that's he's, he's running so fast that he's they're running, phasing in and out yeah, of reality. He's tapping into some sort of time stream <laughs> where they don't exist. We can anymore. rationalize anything. I wonder if any more cars do that. Well, he's traveling so fast, it's really hard to see anything right now. It's just all blurs. And they used a lot of blur on this show. I don't even know what's happening right now. Yeah, these just look that looks all right. But I don't know. There's some cars that definitely look fake to me. A friend recently gave me the idea for a new name. Those definitely looked fake. <laughs> and, oh, that's the same thing. That's that the same shot. That's the same shot. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure, Can't whatever. Slip one by us. Whatever. And something tells me it's gonna catch on. It's gonna catch on. The Flash. Take your own advice. Wear a mask. Something, this line right here where he says, use your own advice, wear a mask. For those of you who don't watch Arrow, uh, <clears throat> Green Arrow, that'd be Chris right there. <laughs> Green Arrow did not wear a mask for the entire first and a half seasons. Why not? He wore like green paint over his eyes because it was faster to apply on and he would just like close his eyes and spray his face green. And, and they never showed that. Off. Well, no, um, probably, who knows? <laughs> but the reason is because it doesn't, obstruct his vision because you know he's an archer he doesn't want any humans to be as accurate as possible he doesn't want a big thick mask getting in his way so Barry right. Allen created this mask out of some crazy material that would be completely against his skin so it wouldn't get in his way and so he gets to wear the identity. domino mask exactly that's so cool so wear a mask cool f- parkour Spider-Man ish <laughs> the qua. <laughs> was that not how you the not, CW you know? I never thought of that though that's pretty good <laughs> anyway um, that's it for this trailer anything else you wanted to add you're excited for it uh, um, you, are you going to watch Green Arrow to, to watch Flash or are you just going to jump right into Flash? yeah they have it on Netflix so I'm going to try to um I'm going to try to catch up on it. I just, I'm, I'm really excited, but I'm also very cautious about this because it seems like they're going in a good direction with these whole um, collective universes thing, taking yeah. a, a leaf out of the Marvel uh, playbook, you know? I think that, I think it's, I think it's going to be good. I hope I, I have hopes and the trailer doesn't disappoint me. So looking forward to that. And again, we're not huge flash aficionados. So if we got anything wrong, which I'm sure we did, <laughs> please, please let us know in the comments. And if there's anything that we missed, any cool little tidbits of trivia that we might have overlooked, then also leave that in the comments below as well. Uh, thanks for sticking in there, guys. And we're going to be doing a podcast here relatively soon about talking about all of the 
comic book TV shows that have that have been announced recently. So be that'll afraid. Be, fun. be very afraid. Be very afraid for that one. Um, <laughs> Which, of course, we'll post on YouTube and iTunes and Stitcher for all. I'm talking with my hands a lot. Chris notices. <laughs> well, nobody I, I is. Too. Yeah. I'm like, I need as much room as possible to move my hands. And nobody is appreciating it because they can't see me. So um, anyway, well, that'll be it for this episode. Trailer Trash. Subscribe. That's the other thing. Like, comment, subscribe. There you go. Uh, and if you're excited for this TV show, let us know. Just leave lots of comments. That's what I like. Just lots of the comments. And I'm pointing downward <laughs> as if you can see me again, but you can't. Whatever. Let's end this. Bye, guys. Bye.